Hi, YouTube. Hi, Instagram. How is everyone doing today? Put, getting, giving you guys some waves here. How's everyone doing today? What's going on, everyone? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, good afternoon. Internationally, good evening. How's everyone doing? Get some waves here. Wave to all my peoples. Hello. Hello, Balladur. Hi, everyone. Hi, Miss I am Kimberlite. Hi, my love. Hi. Hi, Cornita. Hi. Hi, Teresa. I just thought about you, and boom, the notification is on. Yes. Yes, we're going to make this nice and short today because I am suffering with an allergy attack to my face, and that does not make me happy. But even though I'm suffering from an allergy attack to my face, for me, spiritually, the spirit never stops speaking. So even though I'm having some personal issues in my life, I still have to do my readings. That's who I am as a person, and that's what I'm going to stick to no matter what. All right? So, hi, Trina. Hi, Patina. Hi, lovely. Um, let's get this party started. Today, I am using Psychic Tarot of the Heart. Psychic Tarot of the Heart. Also, the product for the day to help beat the COVID is vitamin D3. Please get your vitamin D3. This is a, a component that black people don't have in their bodies. And without it, COVID attacks very strong. However, because the others, white folks in any other culture, has been indoors more than normal Everyone, please get vitamin D3. Hi, Gio. Hi, Tracy. Just got in. Hope things aren't too bad. I don't know, Gio. My face is like really doing its thing. And so the cream helps. Last night, I told you guys about the oil from, from Somatic. But last night, I put the body butter on. And it made a remarkable difference during the night. This is from Somatic. It made a remarkable difference during the night. But right now, even soap irritates my face. So just washing it this morning was a, a problem. And then I put the body butter on and it soothed it out. But just for the next couple of days, I can't do much. Good afternoon, Athena. How are you? Hi, HP. Hope it clears up soon. I know. You know what it is? You know, I'm a Leo. So a Leo looking ugly is not going to go down ever. No. But I'm committed to doing the dashikis. I have castor oil. Remember in the book club? I got the castor oil pills. I have it. Wait. Oh, no, 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 no. I have castor oil. I just got to find it. Right, I pulled out cod liver oil. Oh, my God. They all look alike. I hope you feel better. Thank you, G. I really appreciate that. But you know what? I'm okay. You know, there's a reason for everything. I guess God wants me in the house for a while. You never know with God because he knows I'm like a tramp. I'll be out there running the streets. God knows. He knows me. So maybe he just wants me settled in, especially since we're waiting for the election results. And you guys know I haven't been doing celebrity readings or anything like that because I'm just waiting until November 3rd, which reminds me, please vote Biden. And then let's all pray that Biden gets wanted. Because remember, Hillary won. She did not get sworn in. So 
The first part is for everyone to vote. And I have to tell you, Florida, Michigan, Wisconsin, pull your weight. Vote Biden. The current president just does not care about you and your family. All right. So one of the members in my book club, you know, it's interesting when you're around like-minded people, which is why I want to invite you to the tarot class, all right, starting November 18th. Because when you get around like-minded people, the spiritual connection that shows up is amazing. And so one of the people in the, in the book club, you know, got a message from Spirit and she was like, like, I have to tell everyone, like, pray. Gem Dolls on... Um, on IG, on IG, hold on a second, I gotta talk to her. Let me see if I can find it. She posted it today and it was very profound, so I'm gonna read it for you, just let me find her name. Gem Dolls. And she posted today, okay, my prayer warriors, my universe lovers, my energy manifestors. I need you all to be really specific with your prayers, with your hopes, with your dreams. Please pray that Biden-Harris not only win the election, but that he is sworn in and there is a peaceful exchange of power this is from this is from jim dolls it's from jim dolls on ig So let's be that, let's be that prayer warrior. You know, and I know prayer works. So universal prayer, let's be that, okay? We need everyone to pull their weight. We need everyone to vote. We need everyone to fight, to stand in line. Come crippled, come in pain, come in a bonnet but you vote and if you can vote before november 3rd and put it in an authorized drop box not the mail man you gonna beat all them lines if you can vote early in your state get in there today don't wait till november 3rd we need to hear from you today let me tell you something, 76 million people have already voted. People are serious about this game of voting. People are serious. 76 people have already voted. That's an unheard of number. You be counted amongst the ever growing, increasing early voters, and then you be counted November 3rd. And you fight to be there, and you stand there, and you get a chair, you get a portable chair, and you go and you stand there and you be in line. This is your right. Don't let anyone mess with your right. No one mess with your right. Sorry, I gotta pull my underwears up. Sorry, it's what I do. Don't judge me. They rolling down. What? You have a 24 hour voting today in Houston? No excuse, Houston. Get in there. Midnight, get in there. 24 hours? Get in there and vote. 
Do not send the ballots back by mail. Go in and drop it off. Please, please. There's been too much trickery with DeJoy and the post office. Please, and postal workers, do your job for America. Do your job for America, because this is a scandal you don't want to get caught up in. Oh, happy birthday. Italia says she voted for her birthday. So proud of you. All right. Are we good? Vitamin D3, vote Biden. Are we good? Vitamin D3, vote Biden. And then my prayer warriors, like Jim Dahl said, prayer warriors. Oh, we're going to pray him in that office. Period. All right. I'm using a new deck, Psychic Tarot. For the heart. Ooh, for the heart. Ooh, okay, let's do it here. Ooh. Control. Control. Hmm. Odd looking card. And Psychic Tarot, the heart is the name of the deck. So who's being controlled? Who is this for? Let's take a look. Control, Janet Jackson, right? Control, I never know the words to the song. Keywords, no, let's confront. Control, wait. Ugh. Eight. There you go, control. Keywords, master, Influence, accept, patience, compassion, confidence. In order to flourish, relationships must be fluid and free rather than overly rigid and controlled by emotional neediness or insecurity. It's important to master your emotions so that they do not rule the relationship. A partnership based solely on emotion, emotion is out of balance and out of control. Self-control is the key here. Act from a combination of emotions and intellect and your relationship will thrive and grow. Be sure that your influence is gentle and loving. This is not a time for domination. Who needed to hear that? This card also serves as a reminder to come from compassion and understanding rather than anger or frustration. Patience is the key word. Clear thinking is the action. Apply these qualities to your relationship with others. That includes husband, wife, job, children, mother, father. If you're involved with a difficult person or situation, try to look through the other person's eyes and experience what this or her heart and soul feels. You know, that reminds me of my sister whenever I go to visit her. She always wants to go shopping. And about three Wednesdays ago, I try to go every Wednesday, about three Wednesdays ago, I did. I took her shopping. And for some reason, she wanted a purse, but I had other things to get her. And so I said, put the purse down. Look how much money I'm spending. Because she just needed clothes. Look how much money I'm spending here. And I don't know why I needed that control. Like, what was that? So I got her what I wanted. 
and I wanted to give her clothes and I left happy. And then I got home and I remember looking at her face when she couldn't get the purse because she was like, sis, I get this. And I was like, put it back. I, you know, you're going to get clothes. Look at how much money I'm spending on you. And then I remembered when I got home, I remembered And she was obedient and she put it back. But it wasn't until I got home that spirit triggered me. And I felt like I didn't have a conversation with spirit this time because they just showed me again what I produced. And I, I realized that I was just being in control. Why couldn't she get the purse? So then the following Wednesday, I said, the first thing we're going to do is get a purse. But I didn't tell her. So we ate first and we went to Dee Dee's discount because I don't spend a lot of money, not even on myself. And she, she, she did it different this time. She just looked at me and she goes, can I buy a purse? And that made me feel bad because that's not what I was asking of her. And, you know, like it wasn't like none of that. And I said, we came here to get you a purse. Man, she lit up like a Christmas tree. I'm only saying that because we think a lot of times it has something to do with, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife. But there are other relationships out there. And why are you controlling everything? And I promise you, when I do readings for you guys, it boomerangs back to me. I have to question myself. And this is a really good card to question, like, where's your controlling mechanism, especially with parents that have kids Zooming and you're frustrated and everything's kind of out of your control. And yet you might have a need to control. And so could, could there be too much yelling in the house, too much screaming? Could there be some potential violence in the house? These are just examples. Oh, hi, Shannon. Shannon, if you guys remember yesterday, she was driving to get out of the path of the hurricane. And Shannon came back to say she's fine. Good for you. I hadn't been on Facebook, so I'm so sorry I didn't check up on you. Hi, Janelle. Thank you for this, Tracy. You're welcome, Jolie. You're welcome. I never know who needs these messages. And I have to tell you, maybe we all do. Maybe everybody does. The COVID has us out of, out of pocket, out of containment, out of our controlling mechanism that we were comfortable with. And the COVID is like, ah, things are going to change, sweetie. All right. All right, let's do one more card. Let's do a plain tarot card and see what that relationship looks like. And remember, the reason why I pull them randomly is because I want you to see how easy it is to trust the process that no matter what card you pull, spirit is in the room. You see? Money. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Who's worried about money? <clears throat> Who needs to figure out alternate ways to create money? The Ace of Pentacles is an amazing money card. It means to have firm financial foundations. It means improvement in your money, especially if they pass that stimulus check after November 3rd. A lot of you all are going to be okay, for real, for real. It means comfort. I thought comfort was in in this one too. I thought I saw, let me see. So confidence. The affirmation for this card, it's the strength card. It's associated with the strength card, which is weird. I control my emotions and I embrace peace. Take some time to examine how control in its many aspects is affecting your relationships. Don't try to control. 
okay? So I don't know if there's a real direct correlation. You guys would have to tell me between control and the Ace of Pentacles, which is big money. Um, could be a salary increase, could be financial good fortune. Fortunes could be winning something. It's early stages of material comfort, especially if you have your own business. It's the birth of prosperity. It's about new opportunities. Remember, in the COVID, 8 million people are out of work. So what do you need to do to look at new opportunities, all right? Maybe COVID took our control away for a reason. Maybe we were being controlled by society. And maybe COVID didn't like that. And maybe COVID is trying to tell us that there, there's different opportunities and there's different opportunities to making money because this is the start of a successful venture. Money's coming in. Loans could be made. I'm serious, everyone. Um, along comes with it. Purchases, property matters, material gain, success. Um fertility, all right? Who's trying to control whether or not you can get pregnant, guys? Because this is also represents fertility. Also, good health. Who's controlling you by acting ill? I'm not saying they're not ill. I'm saying, could an illness be a part of someone's controlling mechanism for you? Do you see how all of this could just go together? Just remember, whatever this control is, you're more than capable. You're more than capable to relinquish what this looks like, especially if someone's playing sick, could be legitimately sick, but also could be influencing the sickness even more to control you. All right. There's time to start looking at your personal ability to create businesses within yourselves. I promise you the next wave in business is going to be homegrown businesses. I promise you. All right. Which means society can no longer control you. You will be in complete control of self. So that would be interesting, right? All right, sweeties, that's everything. Um, thank you for letting me take up all this time for you. I don't know who I'm talking to, but whoever I'm talking to, let me know. All right. Get your reading with me at tracybrownlive.com. All right. And I'm here for you. Let's discuss. I love your reading and the, and the young lady you taught. Oh, oh, what young lady. But thank you for loving my reading. Ah, thank you, our true beauty. Good reading, Miss Tracy. Thank you. You're welcome. Shaw, honey, you guys are welcome. I'm honored that you guys see the beauty in the readings. Whew, I was feeling so inadequate about these dashikis and bonnets. But thank you for saying, you know, thank you for saying thank you. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye, our true beauty. Bye, everyone. Bye, YouTube. Bye, Periscope.